Hey guys, this is Kyle Newton, and uh, it's. I know it's kind of been a while since I've made a blog. Uh, I decided I'm not going to do race updates anymore because, you know, it's pretty pointless to do one for every weekend. So I'm just going to, like, bring up the, the exciting news that happens. Um, first, this one is about the Kyle Bush versus the Richard Childress deal. Now, I know that a lot of people are siding with Richard Childress because they don't like Kyle Busch. However, um, I see it in uh, Kyle Busch's way because you know, Kyle Busch, he really didn't do anything wrong. Um, to de he didn't deserve to get punched in the face by Richard Childress. And even Richard's driver, Joey Coulter, who um, apparently... Richard claims is the was the was the reason why he got mad at Bush because uh, of some contact after the race between Bush and Coulter. Coulter said that uh, that he that he is cool with Kyle Bush, so that would most likely mean that Richard Childress is probably still steamed up about uh, Darlington last month. Um, with that said. I'm going going to going to kick this off with a, a statement that I read from Jimmy Spencer today. On uh, I read it on Jayski, but uh, it was from ESPN. Jimmy Spencer, um, he said that uh, that the that the penalty that Richard Childress got was um, was fair and. And uh, Rich, Richard Childress uh, needed. Uh, he said that uh, that NASCAR dealt with Richard Childress in the right way. Um, he thinks that he actually said that they should have been harder on Richard Childress. Spending suspending him for three races would have been the right call. Jimmy Spencer says. I kind of agree, and I kind of disagree with that. With that part, uh, I like Richard Childress all right. As a Kyle Busch fan, I see. Uh, even as a Kyle Busch fan, I see no problem with Richard Childress. It's just a couple of his drivers that I don't like. But, uh, yeah, I think that uh, that uh, Richard Childress was just a little steamed up, was still, was still steamed up about uh, Darlington. Um, Joey Coulter, well, as I said earlier, has no problem with Kyle Busch. And, um, so... Some more of what Jimmy Spencer said. He said that um, he said that uh, that uh, Kyle Busch handled handled it the right way, and uh, he said that his uh, that Kyle Busch's sponsors should be very proud of what he of how he handled that situation, and uh, he didn't fight back. He didn't. He he realized. He also realized that he was on probation, but he respected Richard Childress enough not to punch him back. So, and um, I also agree with I, I agree with Jimmy Spencer on that part. And uh, I also agree with Jimmy whenever he said that this this would make uh, Richard's um, sponsors and people who support him not very happy with him because of the way he handled the situation. Um, I, I also agree with that, but, uh, you know, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm kind of siding with Kyle Busch and Joe Gibbs Racing on this one because, uh, you know, not only am I a fan, but I also felt that Richard's actions were unacceptable, as did a lot of people. Jimmy Spencer was just, was, uh, joking around with it on the hub. But he was very serious about it whenever he was on uh, the speed, the speed website, um, talking about it, and uh, you know, people are going to give Kyle Busch a hard time. You know, it don't matter what Kyle Busch would have done if he would have fought Richard back, people still would have griped. It don't matter what he would have done. It's the same way back with the uh, Darlington incident with Harvick. You know, even if Kyle Busch would have got out and fought Harvick, people still would have griped about him. So, 
you know, it doesn't matter what Kyle Busch does, and that and that just sucks. Okay, I, I'm just I'm just gonna flat out be honest. I think that sucks that people have that much hatred for one guy that they don't even know that uh, they just can't stand because he's Kyle Busch, and uh, I just think that's that's just dumb. Uh, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me and probably say some mean things to me about saying this, but it's the truth. You know, Kyle Busch is a human being just like the rest of us, and he doesn't deserve all these horrible these uh, comments that, that people keep saying about him. He's trying to straighten his life out. Just that it seems like every time, the more the harder he tries, the the more things come come up, and a lot of it, I think, this is a paranoid paranoid opinion of mine, but it seems to but it seems to me like every time Kyle Busch gets out of the clear or something, somebody else starts something with him to to make the haters hate more on Kyle Busch. It's it's almost like the driver the other drivers are sucking up to their fans by starting by getting into mixes with Kyle Busch. I'm not saying that Kyle Busch is always the victim, but he's not always the instigator in, in every situation. And uh, the I'm going to I'll give you guys this the Keselowski incident last year. Yes, Kyle Busch was the instigator in that. Um, however, I I do not think that Kyle Busch is near as bad as everybody makes him out to be. And um, I also applaud Jimmy Spencer for looking back at his. Uh, at his uh, fight with Kurt Busch a few years ago, you know he got he got suspended for that, and uh, he said that he had, he said that he he didn't want to make himself sound like a hypocrite. So he said that he was also he regrets uh, punching Kurt Busch, and he said that he, if he could go back and do it all over again, he would not punch Kurt Busch in the in the face because you know nobody really. It deserves to be punched in the face. So, um, you guys can boo me all you want. You guys can boo Kyle Bush all you want. But uh, I think that... I think that uh, Kyle Bush is, um, is, the, is the one that's in the right in this situation. And, uh, you know, I have seen people... I've heard... I've looked at comments on Facebook, people saying that... Um, Kyle Busch deserves it for all the cars, the RCR cars that he's wrecked. But, um, what about Richard Childress's driver, Kevin Harvick? He was involved in incidents with all three of Joe Gibbs Racing's uh, drivers last year. So, what if Gibbs just went up and whacked Harvick in the head? I, I, I really think that people uh, should quit uh griping about Kyle Bush all the time because he is not the bad guy everybody makes him out to be. So you can you can disagree with me all you want, but I really believe that that, that Kyle Bush is not the bad guy. And he said it himself he's tired of being the bad guy. He wants to and you know, I I seen Kyle Bush mature a whole lot this year. Yeah the speeding ticket earlier this year with the Lexus car that was stupid, and he admitted it, that he, it was stupid, and he took responsibility. So, I just I don't want to. I'm get I just get so sick and tired of people hating on Kyle Busch. Um, I still have a little bit of respect for Richard Childress. I uh, I lost a little bit of it after that incident because he apparently has no remorse for what he did. But um, I still like Richard Childress. All right, he's a good guy. He just made a bad choice. Kyle Busch has made some of those before. Every driver has. Every human being has. It's all a part of being human. Kyle Busch is not perfect. Dale Jr. is not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Get over it. And that's my blog.